The signing into law of Republic Act 9679 on July 21, 2009 was a milestone for the Home Development Mutual Fund or Pag-ibig Fund. Under the law, the mandatory coverage to Pag-ibig Fund has been expanded. Under RA 9679, the following are required to register with the Pag-ibig Fund. All employees and employers compulsorily covered by the SSS and the GSIS who are earning at least 1,000 pesos a month. All previously waived companies must now register their employees with Pag-ibig. Membership in Pag-ibig is likewise mandatory to all uniformed members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Philippine National Police, the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, and the Bureau of Fire Protection. If there is one group among the working class that deserves utmost support from the government, it is the sector of Filipino overseas workers. It is for this reason that membership in Pag-ibig was made mandatory for all OFWs to open the opportunity for them to provide homes for their families and save for their future. Under RA 9679, all Filipinos employed by foreign-based employers are required to register with Pag-ibi. These include Filipino contract workers with valid working visas or employment contracts and Filipino immigrants, permanent residents, and naturalized citizens in other countries. As a Pag-ibig member, you enjoy the following benefits. Savings. Your total savings with Pag-ibig is portable, which means that the savings remain in your name even if you change employers or become unemployed. Your savings are tax-free and government guaranteed. As a member, you contribute a percentage of your monthly salary depending on how much you earn every month. The maximum monthly compensation or ceiling is pegged at 5,000 pesos a month. Most importantly, your savings with Pag-ibig will be returned to you once your membership matures or when you retire. While the maximum monthly compensation is pegged at 5,000 pesos, you may contribute more than what is required should you so desire. In fact, OFWs departing for abroad are encouraged to pay more than the minimum contribution of 100 pesos to save on higher remittance fees abroad. When can you withdraw your savings with Pag-ibig? Pag-ibig Fund shall return your total savings upon occurrence of any of the following. Membership maturity after 20 years, which starts from the first day of the month to which your initial Pag-ibig contribution applies you should have made 240 monthly contributions. Upon your retirement at age 60 years for optional retirement or 65 years for mandatory retirement, permanent total disability or insanity, separation from service due to health reasons, permanent departure from the country, upon death of the member where legal heirs shall receive the member's total savings plus a death benefit grant of 6,000 pesos or the amount of your savings, whichever is lower, or other causes as may be approved by the Pag-ibig Board of Trustees. The total value Pag-ibig shall return to you shall be composed of your personal contributions, your employer counterpart share, if any, and the dividends earned by your savings. Every year, Pag-ibig Fund sets aside 70% of its annual net income for dividends. The dividends are tax-free and are credited to member savings proportionately. As a qualified Pag-ibig member, you have access to the different loan programs being offered by the fund. At present, these are Multipurpose Loan Program Calamity Loan Program and the Pag-ibig Housing Loan Program. All loan programs require that you must have made at least 24 monthly contributions to become eligible to avail of a loan. The Multipurpose Loan Program is a contribution-based loan which is payable in 24 months 
or two years with a 10.75% annual interest rate. Meanwhile, the calamity loan is available to members who reside in or own properties in areas declared under a state of calamity. The loan amount for both short-term loan programs shall be based on your total savings and total number of contributions with the fund. The Pag-ibig Housing Loan Program is one of the most liberal home financing programs in the country today. Once qualified, you can avail of a loan which you can use to finance various loan purposes which include purchase of a residential unit, purchase of a fully developed lot, purchase of a fully developed lot and construction of a house thereon, construction or completion of a house on a lot owned by the borrower, for major home improvement, refinancing of an existing mortgage with another financial institution, and other combination purposes. The maximum loanable amount under the regular housing program is 6 million pesos, payable over a maximum loan term of 30 years. Interest rates will depend on the borrower's chosen repricing period every 3, 5, 10, or 15 years. The Pag-ibig Fund has a special savings program for members who wish to save more than the required contributions and with a higher yield. Through the modified Pag-ibig 2 program, a member is assured of higher dividend rates, more than the usual rates that we know of and used to receive. The program is open to Pag-ibig 1 and OFW members on a voluntary basis. With a minimum monthly contribution of 500 pesos, Pag-ibig 2 members are assured of higher returns for their money in five years' time. The Pag-ibig Fund has made membership registration for OFWs easier and more convenient. If you are in the Philippines, you can register at any Pag-ibig branch office nationwide. You may also visit the Pag-ibig satellite offices located at the POEA and the NAIA. You may also register online at www.pagibigfund.gov.ph. When abroad, you can look up the Pag-ibig marketing representative or information officer assigned in different key cities worldwide. Here are the steps in membership registration and remittance for OFW members. First, secure and fill out the member's data form or membership registration form. The forms are available from any Pag-ibig office, either local or overseas, or from authorized Pag-ibig representatives or collecting facilities. You can also download the forms from Pag-ibig's official website. Second, submit the accomplished member's data form or membership registration form to any Pag-ibig office, authorized representatives, or collecting facilities abroad. Third, Receive the issued registration tracking number, or RTN, from the Pag-ibig staff, either local or overseas, or from the authorized representative or collecting facility abroad. Remember to indicate the registration tracking number in all your future transactions with Pag-ibig, whether they are done here or abroad. Fourth, pay the initial contribution to any Pag-ibig office, either here or abroad, or to the Pag-ibig authorized representative or collecting facility overseas. And lastly, pay or remit the succeeding contributions on a monthly, quarterly, semi-annual, annual, or any mode convenient to you to any Pag-ibig office here or abroad, or to the authorized Pag-ibig representative or collecting facility overseas. For your convenience, here are the six easy steps to registration online. 1. Go to the website of the Pag-ibig Fund at www.pagibigfund.gov.ph 2. Click the Member Services button. 3. Click Online Membership Registration. 4. Fill out the online registration form. 5. Print the form. You will be given a registration tracking number or a POP temporary ID number. Keep the number for future transactions with Pag-ibig. 
and 6. Pay your contributions at the bank, Pag-ibig branch, or any of the Pag-ibig accredited payment or remittance centers worldwide. Thank you for taking time to know more about your Pag-ibig fund. Mabuhay!